In this video, we are going to learn how to add two matrix and perform the resultant matrix. So, how to do it? The simple algorithm we have to follow. We simply traverse through both matrix element by element and insert the smaller element. Why? Because smaller element has the smaller row as well as the column. Then we have to put into the resultant. If we come across the element, the same row and the same column value means both are belongs to the same position of the sparse matrix. Then what we have to do? We have to add the value and insert the data into resultant matrix. So let's take an example. So this is two sparse matrix is already given to us. For example, this is SP1, this is SP2, this is our resultant matrix. So here, these are the non-zero value, these are the non-zero value, this is the row value, this is, so here this is the row, this is the column, this is the value. So here we have to store the number of index value of the non-zero value then. So first we have to check simple logic in this case that if both the column, if the both the column value is the same means this is column, this is the 0, this is the 1, this is the 2. If both the 0 value means both the column value, this is 0, 1, this is 0, 1 means this element is belongs to the same index. Same index position of the sparse matrix. Here we have to perform the addition. If not matching means both are not belongs to the same position of the matrix. Then what we have to do? We have to store according to the Position. Position means sim row is elements are always stored in the row wise. Elements are stored in two dimension in the row wise. So we have to check which row value is less. If row value is same, then we have to check which column value is less. If the column value is less, means the element should be inserted into the first. So here, so sparse matrix here we can make a j variable i variable here j variable for equal to k value so initialization i we have to make the k equal to j zero i equal to zero j equal to zero because all that point out to the first row now we have to take the first element from sparse matrix one sparse matrix two so zero so both the, if both the row as well as the column value is the same means zero in column value this is the one column value is same here zero zero this is the one one so if we write down in, in this way sp this is i zero is equal to sp j zero and means row value is same as well as the column index is zero and sp then what happened? SP1, this is 2, this is SP1, J, sorry, I1 is equal to SP2, J1. This is the column value. If both are same, what we have to do? We have to do the addition. What addition? Addition of the non-zero value and store inside the resultant value. So here the index value is same. So, 0, 1 index as well as the row of the index of the row or index of the column. Here we have to perform the addition that is 3 plus 4 equal to 7 we have to store. Then what happened? I value, J value should be in incremented to 1. So, this is 1, this is 1, this is 1. Whenever we are performing the addition, at that time we have to increment both the I value as well as the J value. Next we have to check the second row. So, now this is point to this one, this is point to this one. Now, this is 2, this is 1. So, now, SP2, this is the 1, 4, 5, this is 2, 2. If it is row is less, row is less means, first row is less means it will come to the first, to the resultant. This one will come to the second. So, simple, we have to copy the value to the resultant matrix and the J value is incremented by 12 because this value is already copied. So, it will come to this one. Now, again, we have to compare with this value, this value to this value. Now, both are same means the row of index of the both matrix is same. If both the row 
index is same, then we have to compare which column is less. 2 or 4. 2 is less, so 2 will be copy. So 2, 2 will be copy. So here it is. This is 2, so it will copy. 2, 2, 4. Once it is copied, then what happened? It will be increment to the next one. Now, again we have to compare. So, I value is incremented by 1. And each and every time the J value, K value is incremented. So, this is 2. This is 2. Now, this is 2. This is 2. Here, 2, 4. Here, it is. Here, it is. 2, 4, here it is 2, 5. So, which one is less? This one is less. So, it will copy to the 2, 4, 5. Once it's copied, the J value is incremented by 1. This also incremented by 1, 3. Now, it's point to this 4 position. 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. Now, it is 4. So, it is already incremented to 4. Then, again, we have to compare with the this value. Now, this 2, 2 is same. Both the row index is same. Then, we have to compare the column. Column is same. If both the row as well as the column index is same, then what we have to do? We have to add the non-zero value. So, simple, we have to add the value means 2, 6, 6 plus 3, that is the 9. So, this is the simple example how to perform the sparse matrix in a two dimension addition of the two dimension so this is the simple code i have already written the code so for example this is our first matrix is given this is our second sparse matrix is given as i have already told three variable required to assess the both the sparse matrix i j and third one is for the resultant here we created the resultant matrix then this is the for loop. So, this is the if condition. If both the condition. If a i j 0 is equal to j 0 as well as 1. Means this is the when the both row as well as the column index is same. So, at that time what we have to do? We have to make the addition. So, for the make the addition either we have to copy sp1 or sp2. Here I copy sp1. Just copy the value. Then this line is addition of non-zero value. So, whenever we are perform addition, all the three we have to increment. That's why we increment the k, j, i, j. Next. So, first one, if i0 means if the row index value is same, then what happened? We have to check which column is less. So, in this case, if column is of the sp1 is less, then what we have to do? Copy the sp1 value. Whenever we copy the sp1 only value, i value will be incremented. Here the sp2 value is less. Here sp1 value is greater than the sp2 value. So, it, so this is the case when row index is same. Only we have to compare for the column. Whenever row index is same, we are comparing the column. So, simple copy because the sp2 is less. So, whatever column value is raised, we have to copy. So, as the SP value is copied, so J value is incremented by 1. After that, we have to check whether row index is less or not. If row index is same, then we compare to the column index. If row index is less, so here SP1 I 0 is less than SP2 J0 means here we compare the index of row value of two sparse matrix. If SP1 is less, then we have to copy. Whenever we copy, after that we have to increment the I value. Anyhow, the K value is always incremented because the K is, is used to represent the addition matrix, result and matrix. Result and matrix, we have to always increase the pointer to the row. Then this one is the, for the sp1 i0 is greater than sp2 means here the second sparse matrix column value is less. If the second matrix column value is less, we have to copy. Then we have to increment the k value and j value. Once all the operation is done, then we have to print the value. So this is the printf statement to print the addition of the sparse matrix. So the logic is very easy. First we have to compare whether 
वी हैव टू कंपेयर वेदर द वो स्पार्स मैट्रिक्स रो एज वेल एज कॉलम इज सेम और नॉट इफ बोथ रो एंड कॉलम इज सेम देन सिंपल वी हैव टू कॉपी द रो एंड कॉलम वैल्यू एंड नॉन जीरो वैल्यू शुड बी एडेड देन वी हैव टू चेक वेदर द कॉलम वैल्यू रो वैल्यू इज सेम और नॉट इफ बोथ द मैट्रिक्स रो वैल्यू इज सेम देन वी हैव टू मेक द कंपैरिजन व्हिच वन इज द लेस कॉमन वैल्यू दैट लेस कॉमन वैल्यू सिंपल वी हैव टू कॉपी हियर आफ्टर दैट वी हैव टू चेक which row value is less whichever is less row value it will simple copy to this one so this is the code it is it looks like big but logic is very easy so just let run the program and check whether we are getting the correct result or not this is our given so it will compare 0 1 3 0 1 so 0 1 means both the row as well as the column index is same so it will perform addition 0 1 7 then 2 2 4 1 4 5 so here what happened row is not same if row value is not same then what happened lesser less row value will be go to the resultant so 1 4 3 1 is less so it will copy to the resultant 1 4 5 then point or points to the next one so now 2 2 4 2 4 5 Two two both are two means index of the row is same. If the index of row is same, then what happened? We have to compare the column. Column index here two here four. So two two four will be copy. Two two four will be copy. After that, the pointer points to this one now two five six two four five. So now row index is same. Row index is same means we have to compare the column index. So column index here is the less. So two four five is copy. Two four five is copy. After that, the pointer points to this one now. Two four six, two six three. So here row index is same. Now what happened? Column index we have to compare here five here six. If it is five means two five will be copy two five six. Then what happened? It will point to the next. So now two six three six six two six three. So Row is same. Now column is same. If row is same as well as the column index same, then what happened? Non-zero value will be added, and will copy to the resultant. So two six copy and resultant is the nine. So we got the correct result. So this is the addition of sparse matrix. So this is the simple algorithm. We have to traverse both matrix element by element. Insert the smaller element. Insert the smaller element means first we have to compare the Row index. If row is less, simple. We have to copy. If row is same, then we have to compare the column. Which column has the less value? We have to copy. If we come across the same row as well as the same column, simple. We have to copy the row index and column index and add the non-zero value. So this is the our program we have to perform. So hope you. are able to understand the concept of addition of sparse matrix thank you for watching my video please like share and subscribe the channel thank you bye